guys, it's Megan. Today I'm going to be sharing my thoughts on the new Burberry shadows. So you guys know I have been obsessed with the Burberry shadows that I discovered at the end of 2013. So all through 2014, I was obsessed, 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 growing my collection little by little because they're a very expensive eyeshadow. They're $29. And, um, then on Nortrum's website, which is where I always buy my Burberry shadows, they started getting really, really difficult to buy. Like they were always back ordered or out of stock and it was getting very, very frustrating. So um, since I obsessively checked on these shadows like every day to see if they were available, one day I checked Nordstrom and there was a new name for the shadows and they were all in stock and they are now called the wet and dry eye silks they were before called the sheer eyeshadows and um i have four of the original shadows if you guys have been following me oh my gosh as i drop them they like i said are very expensive they're 29 dollars and um the packaging is beautiful it's so so nice it's a really heavy metal compact that says Burberry at like where you open it and it's a magnetic um, compact with a nice big mirror and um, then your shadow and it does come with an applicator I've pretty much thrown all of the applicators out it's just like a sponge tip um, so I have four of the original shadows I have Midnight Brown, Pale Barley, Rosewood, and Taupe Brown um, so I have these four. I'm obsessed with them. Um, they're just such great, amazing quality, the best quality eyeshadows I've ever found. Um, so I was very scared when I saw that they had renamed the shadows because I thought, is this a new formula? Are they going to be awful? Like, I, I just didn't know. So I bought three of the new ones to test out for you guys. And um, I picked two that were colors that I had never seen in their original collection, which were Dusky Mauve, number 203, and Chestnut Brown, number 301. They also have renumbered them. So, like, for, um, for instance, Pale Barley, which is, like, my favorite one, was number 22 in the, um, Sheer Eyeshadows. Now, Pale Barley is 102. And I did buy Pale Barley for a science experiment to compare one that I had from the original release to the new ones. So it comes in the same packaging as always, this really nice cardboard, um, kind of like, I don't know, murky cream color. Um, and it's kind of textured and it says the number of the shadow on top and um, the ingredients on the back. And so this is the new name for it, the wet and dry eye silks. And um, so the packaging is the same and they still come in the nice little velvet pouch that has the Burberry check like imprinted on it. So that's really nice for keeping the compacts nice and clean and also for um, uh, like traveling and stuff. So it's the same packaging as before. The really, really nice check um, metal packaging. They feel exactly the same in my hand. So the packaging didn't change. Still says Burberry on it. Still a magnetic closure with a nice mirror. And um, so these ones, I have the applicator still in it. It's just a uh, sponge tip and it says Burberry on it, but um, it's just like a normal sponge tip applicator. So, one of the biggest changes for me is that the price is still the same, they're $29, but the new ones have 2.7 grams of product, while the old ones have 2.5, and the back packaging, like the labels, are also slightly different. So this is the new packaging. This is Dusky Mauve, and this is one of the originals, um, Midnight Brown. So you can see the label is a little different, I do prefer the um, older the style of the older one, but I really appreciate that there is more product in the new shadows. So that is really cool. You're paying the same price for more product. Usually when companies come out with a new, like, packaging or new something, like, changing the original uh, product to, like, rename it or rebrand it or whatever, they usually 
give you less product for the same price or more expensive. But this company, oh, I just love Burberry. They're giving you more product for the same price. So that's really cool. Um, so 2.7 grams or 0.09 ounces versus 2.5 grams, 0.008 ounces. So not a huge increase, but still that's really nice. So um, yeah, those are the basics of it. So these are the colors that I bought. Dusky Mauve. Oh, and it also comes with a little like plastic thing covering the shadow when you first get it. This is Dusky Mauve. It's a really pretty purple, purpley, dark purple color. Um, and let me just swatch it for you. They're really, really nice and creamy and beautiful and... I honestly don't think that the formula has changed. This one is chestnut brown, and um, they did have a chestnut color in the original um, color like range, but I, it was just called chestnut, not chestnut brown. So, and I didn't have chestnut, so I don't know how if there's a comparison, like if there's a difference between them. But uh, I just don't really know. So they're nice and pigmented. Um, and very smooth and awesome and then pale barley um, so this is the one I was most interested in comparing to my original pale, pale barley and I'm gonna show you guys that in a second but nice and creamy and wonderful and so there are the three new ones and I would say that the two darker colors, Dusky Mauve and Chestnut Brown, are matte satin, more leaning matte, and then um, Pale Barley is more of a satin, and I don't know if you can really tell that from these swatches, um, but that's them kind of blended out. All right, so to me, the formula is the same. I really think that it is. They perform just as nicely on my eyes as the original ones, which... Oh, that just makes me feel so much better. The only thing that I am going to say that is kind of weird to me is when I compared the original Pale Barley, my original, which is this one, you can see how much I've loved it, to the new one. So um, this is my original and this is the new one. And I'm not sure if you can tell, but they're a slightly different color. It's really weird. Um, to me, it's weird. And the new one, which is this one, is slightly lighter than the original. And they're still just as creamy, but the color is different. Like, I swear to you, it's a different color. So, I'm going to swatch these so you can see them. And... So the bottom one is the original and the top one is the new Pale Barley. And to me, the original Pale Barley, which is on the bottom, is prettier. It has a prettier sheen to it. It's just, I don't know, it's more luxurious looking and even though the texture is the same, the finish of it is not the same. So um, I don't know if that like if anyone else has noticed that that's them a little more blended out um but i still think that the original pale barley is more beautiful and superior to the new one and i don't know why they would like change the color basically of it when this is their most popular color to me it's their most popular color like everyone went crazy over it and um I don't know, that just really disappoints me and I kind of, because I'm crazy, I want to buy like the ones that I already have to compare them like Midnight Brown. This is one of my all-time favorite shades and I hope that the new formulation isn't changed. Like if Midnight Brown doesn't look like that anymore, I'm going to be really sad and like I hate to recommend pale barley or midnight brown or the colors I already have to you guys not knowing if it's the same exact color in the new range and um 
as far as I know, I will type it down here if this is still true, um, Saks Fifth Avenue still had the original Burberry shadows and I ordered one for a friend because I wanted her to get the original one, the one that I knew that was great and stuff. So, um, yeah, I'm just disappointed in the fact that Pale Barley looks different in the new formula. Um, and so they're, they're pretty and they're nice and I just, the color difference is what's freaking me out. But if I didn't have the original Pale Barley, I would still think that this, this Pale Barley is still super nice, this new one. Um, it's a nice color, it's very blendable, it's very pretty on the eyes, um, but just when you swatch the new one compared to the original one, that's when you're like, oh crap, like, why did they change the color? Could they not, like, I don't know what the deal is. But, um, long story short is that I think that they're a really nice product. I think that the formula is the same, like, smoothness-wise, but color-wise, the original shades might be different in this new line. So that's kind of weird to me. Um, and like I said, I do like the original Pale Barley more than the new one. Um, but if I didn't have the original, I wouldn't know like the difference. I would still think that this is a really pretty shadow. It's a very high quality product. Um, and so I am giving my mom um, the new Pale Barley because she knows how much I love the Burberry shadows and I think that she would really enjoy this color because it's a nice like neutral color. As far as the other two that I bought, Dusky Moth and Chestnut Brown, I am going to return Chestnut Brown. I'm going to um, swatch it next to um, Midnight Brown for you guys because they're pretty similar in color. But, okay, this one is Midnight Brown and this is Chestnut Brown. They're similar in color, um, so similar that I don't want both. Um, Midnight Brown will always be my favorite, so I just know that I'll neglect this one. So I'm going to return that one and I'm going to exchange it for another color. Um, I might get Mulberry. Um, and then they also have these... It's like they're, they're eyeshadow, they're eye silks, but they're like a shimmer version and they have like a nude color and I'm, I think I'm going to try that one out. So I'm either going to get mulberry or nude for that. And the other one, I was like 95% sure I was going to return, but now I've been doing this look with Dusky Mauve and um, Rosewood and it is is so beautiful these two together is just amazing this one's rosewood and this is dusky mauve the reason i was going to return dusky mauve is because it's super super similar to the chestnut brown as you can see they're really similar just the undertone is a little bit different um and like i said chestnut brown is very similar to midnight brown so let me just swatch um this one so this is Dusky, Dusky Mauve, is that what it's called? It's like a weird name. Um, yeah, Dusky Mauve is this one, and then Chestnut Brown, Midnight Brown. So they're all pretty similar because they're all dark, but I really love this eye look. I don't know if you guys can tell with my bangs because they're like always covering up my eyes, but it's just a really pretty look. Um... And I don't use rosewood a lot, but I don't want to keep this dusky mauve just to use in my crease to use with rosewood. So, um, I don't know. I think I might return dusky mauve as well, even though it works. I don't know. It just works so well with this. I probably won't return it now. Um, because it is really pretty, but it's pretty dark to use on the lid by itself because it is more of like a matte matte sort of satin um so it doesn't have that brightness to like use on your lid because i like to use dark colors on my lid but only if they have like a shine to them um like the original midnight brown does so i'm on the fence about dusky mauve um so that one i'm not sure about returning chestnut brown um just because it's way too similar to midnight brown to keep both and i love midnight brown um but Basically, I think that they are still a nice eyeshadow. I'm disappointed that Pale Barley looks different and it worries me about the other colors looking different. 
and um, I I almost like panicked and like ordered the ones that I know I love in the original formula for Saks for myself as a backup, but I haven't even hit pan on any of these. I don't think it's necessary to buy backups when I know by the time I use up these shadows, I will like something else. Like there will always be something new that will come out that will be impressive to me. So I'm not gonna go crazy like I normally would, um, trying to be good still. So, um, yeah, I don't know if this was helpful. I, I hope it was. Um, but hopefully this comparison will at least help you guys. And even though I wasn't, I'm not, like, in love with the colors I chose for myself, like the chestnut brown and dusky mauve I'm still on the fence about, I still think that the formula is nice. And, um, hopefully you guys got a feeling of that, um, through this video. Um, I don't know, these swatches seem a little bit patchy now that I blended them out, but on the eye, they look really, really nice. And, um, oh my gosh, all the packaging looks exactly the same. That's also a problem if you have too many of them all at once. But, um, so there is Dusky Mauve and Chestnut Brown again for you guys to see. Um, so yeah, if you guys really love Burberry shadows, um, I think that you will still enjoy the new formula or the new product um, that they have released and um, hopefully if you loved one of their colors originally I hope that it still looks the same on your eye. The new pale barley looks very very similar on the eye to the original pale barley so that's really what matters not exactly a swatch. So um, I hope this was helpful. If it was let me know. If it wasn't I'm sorry, um, but I'm sure that more people will be sharing their opinions on the new shadows um, because it kind of just came out of nowhere. Like, I didn't hear anyone talk about it at all, and then I saw it on Nordstrom's website, and it was like, what is going on? So, um, and also in the new, like, eye silks range, there's new colors, and um, some colors they didn't bring back, like Midnight Plum, which I was always trying to get my hands on, they didn't bring it back, which really disappoints me because I really wanted that color. That's why I got um, Dusky Mauve because I thought it might be kind of a purpley color, um, but it's not bright like Midnight Plum was, so I don't know. So let me know what you guys think if you got any of the new ones or um, like whatever, if you were interested in trying Burberry, if you're still interested or if you're kind of like sad that they didn't just keep the original ones and keep producing them the exact same way as they were before. Um, but yeah, so I hope you guys enjoyed this and found this helpful. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you guys really soon. Bye.